to the kitchen. Today we're going to do a really simple dessert because I know a lot of you don't have much in your kitchen so we're using a full fat milk. We need four eggs, well actually two full eggs and two egg yolks. 75 grams of caster sugar plus two tablespoons extra. We need a vanilla pod. And they're your ingredients. And if you want to jazz it up a little bit, we can add some Grand Manier and some orange zest at the end when we're about to serve it. We also need to have six ramekins um, that are going to sit inside a baking tray. And we need a large saucepan for our milk to simmer up in. And we also need, this is for our sugar that we're going to melt. So we're just going to crack our eggs, so as I said, two full eggs and two egg yolks. So keep your whites though. I collect my whites um, because we don't want to waste anything, especially at the moment or ever really. And the whites can go into a little jar like this into your fridge or into your freezer. Um, until you need them. I like to use them for when Hubie, my gorgeous cameraman husband, loves to have his meringues. Okay, that's done. Put those whites aside. We're going to put the milk in here and put that onto a medium heat with a vanilla pod that we're going to slice down the middle she says. Another good thing for your vanilla pods if you've got them because they're very expensive so we don't want them to dry out is if you put them in, I put mine into a great big jar and I add about two centimeters of a clear rum and this will preserve them for, for years and um, not change the properties of their taste. So I'm just going to scrape out all these vanilla seeds and put them in here with the pod and just give that a little whisk. Okay, while well that's heating up, our 75 grams of sugar is going to go into this saucepan. And we're just gently going to shake it so you can see it becomes all nice and even with nothing on the sides. We're going to melt that down slightly. This is a part a lot of people um, don't like doing because they always end up burning it. Okay, so while your sugar is melting and your full cream milk is going to come to a simmer or boil and then drop it down to a simmer for a couple of minutes we're going to add two tablespoons extra of sugar into our two eggs and two yolks and i'm just going to quickly beat that up okay and i'm going to pour it back into this jug until put our milk back in there but we're going to strain it into there just so you know okay we can see I'll just give you a quick look here starting to melt just on the outside starting to caramelize so here put it back on and I just like to stay with this now um, and I'm just going to tap it until all the sugar crystals are dissolved I have a dog chewing on my feet at the moment. Okay, I'm going to take this sugar off the heat and I can see I don't have any sugar crystals left. So while it's still hot, I'm going to be dividing this into six ramekins. It's really hot, so just be careful doing this. And I boiled a kettle as well in the meantime you can just do that and I've put the oven on at 160 degrees Celsius so my milk is ready that's come to a simmer and I've turned it down so I'm just going to pour that into here now and I need my whisk where is my little whisk here it is so this is just so we can grab the pieces of vanilla right 
Bring that goes in here quickly. And don't throw your vanilla pot out. I dry this out and put it in with my sugar in a in a nice glass jar of sugar so you can get this beautiful vanilla flavour through your sugar. So this is gonna get divided on top. I'm gonna to fill this with hot boiling water. So I've got my kettle that is boiled. It's going into here halfway up. Okay, that's all we need. And then that goes into the oven for about 25 minutes. Okay, so our creme caramel should be ready by now. Um, I've put, after the first 10 minutes of um, cooking. I could see they had a little um, crust over the top of them just starting to brown slightly so to stop this just put a little bit of foil over the top and um, you'll be able to see when I bring them out onto the bench. Let's get rid of that. But these are nicely set. We can tell they're set by just giving them a little shake and they're not moving. So with my asbestos fingers that I have, I'm just going to take these out and let them cool down before we put them in the fridge. Um, and then I'll show you how we can mold them up. Okay, I've, This has been in the fridge. It's set, you can see, not wobbly. So I'm just going to take a flat knife and run it gently right around the edge to loosen it. I'm going to put my bowl on top that I'm going to serve it in. I'm going to go flip and shake a little bit. And then you have your creme caramel. So either you can serve it directly like this. I like to serve my guests with a tiny bit of yogurt. And I know that's not traditional for this traditional dessert, but I'm not traditional either. So I'm going to just put that here. Nice little dollop. I'm going to take a tiny bit. I haven't got any oranges, um, but I have a mandarin. So I'm just going to take the zest of a mandarin and Tap that on top. Also going to put a tiny bit of juice just around the outside. Then a little leaf of mint. And that is ready to go to the table. Our beautiful little creme caramel.